Felix, so we just had a panel about um, content farms and mass production of content and so forth. There's a lot of buzz about that. Is that a viable business? I think that there's a desire out there for very specific content, which the broad-based you know, newspapers and stuff never were very good at. The big winner in this space has always been and will always be Wikipedia. Uh, and everyone else is competing for second place here. And I think that a lot of people are very unhappy with the attempts to productize this and turn it into a for-profit business. And with demand media and associated content and these people, you kind of feel that they're making money in a fake, sort of unsustainable way and that they're all very much relying on Google algorithms which can change and should change. Um, and one of the things I'm hoping is that Google is going to start learning from Twitter and Facebook. It's going to use their referrals to improve its own algorithms and that as it does that, the role of the content farms is going to diminish because frankly, I never, ever in my entire life have seen a link to anything from demand media or associated content in my Twitter and Facebook feeds because it's not actually germane or relevant to me. So I do feel this is a little bit of a flash in the pan and it will decline, but they will probably make good money you know, over the course of that decline. The other story here is the uh, Huffington Post and the AOL uh, acquisition, which we'll be hearing about more later. And I think the jury is still out. But what are the opportunities for AOL and what are the sort of the pit potential pitfalls? The big opportunity for AOL is that they have bought one of the foremost technology companies on the internet. Um, the Huffington Post technology is spectacularly good. Their social media integration is better than just about any other content company. And they know how to write headlines, they know SEO, they know how to run a small editorial team to get massively huge results. So AOL can learn an enormous amount from HuffPo. They can learn how to get voice, they can learn how to get attitude, they can learn how to get scale, and everything which they have actually been pretty bad at up until now. Um, the dangers, yeah, there's a risk that if they become too partisan, that might put off a lot of, um, you know, red states America. Um, AOL does have a pretty sort of conservative with a small C base in terms of, you know, the dial-up um, audience, which they're trying to get away from. Um, and, of course, there's always the human risk in Ariana. You never, she's not an entirely predictable person. and some crazy stuff can happen there. But I, I have faith in her. I think she's going to do a really good job. And, you know, will she get on with Mike Arrington? Who knows? I mean, that's, that's, we'll have to wait and see on that front. But I believe she's smart enough to let, leave him alone, leave Engadget alone. You know, the, the handful of really top um, web qualities which AOL already had, she'll leave alone. The, the relatively second tier ones like Daily Finance, Wallet Pop, that kind of thing, those she's going to really probably destroy, bring in-house to HuffPo Media Group and make it, make them much, much better.